Hello, welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. When I tell you, well, y'all know it been so much going on. <laughs> you know, okay. Um, we're gonna talk, we're gonna pray, we're gonna do scripture today. We're just gonna visit, okay? Father God, I thank you now for this food. Let it be nourished to our body. Bless it in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I have a sausage and shrimp, cucumbers, rice. I have a butter sauce. Looks like my camera trying to get stuck on me. And I have red Kool-Aid. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get into this scripture of the day. Let's get into this scripture of the day. Scripture of the day is Psalms. 94 verse 19 and it says when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy if we ever need a scripture uh before we need that scripture today psalms 94 verse 19 when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy Everything that's going on, man, we so anxious and nervous and uh, panicky. His comfort, his consolation going to bring you joy. I just mixed up um, some shrimp and sausage. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So, what y'all been doing? What y'all been doing? I've been off work. My work is closed. Mmm. Mmm. I forgot how good that is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's so good. Yeah. Mm. Let's try one more time. One time for the one time. That combination is delicious. It really is. I thought I heard my door open. Well, let's just get right into it. Okay. Okay. It sounds like somebody in there. It sounds like my daughter in there. Mm. That's so good. Come on, man. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. I, I told him you was somehow you was in here. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. I just thought about to see you. Hey. Hey. I got a mission to stay, sir. I know, me too. Hell, stay to go home. 
What you doing? Nothing. Just stop by to see you. <sighs> okay. You ain't staying here? No, I'm coming back Friday. It's only two of us. What you mean? It happened. Two RAs. The rest of them chose to stay home. Okay, well, listen. Anybody else in the other dorms? Mm hmm. It's a uh, four in the one that's our buddy hall. Mm -hmm. It's four in there. So they're trying to see what they're going to do about us, like uh, working um, holiday shifts and stuff. Because mm -hmm. spring break was supposed to be my last week. I mean, my last holiday. Yeah. But not no more. They're also trying to see what they're going to do about weekends. Because there's only six of us. Because y'all is uh, Mississippi State out like April 17th, too? No, for the rest of the semester. Our class is online. Period. Period. But it's wow. people who need to stay on campus because, you know, home situations, international students, no access to internet, so they still stay on campus. I think on my heart, I got like seven girls. Mm -mm. So, uh, yep, we, uh, so it's only me and another girl on the fifth floor. Is December graduation? Okay. Yeah, it's nothing bad been saying or uh, been said about December graduation. I'm talking about so online is not going to affect No, you. it shouldn't affect me. Mm -mm. But they trying to, the students doing a petition right now to make all the classes, make us all pass the class. So like, because they're saying we didn't sign up for. Um, What's going on? Yes, and we have no you know, way to do this. And, like, engineering students, then, you know, they grade and stuff depending on, like, them making stuff and chemistry uh, kids go in labs and stuff. Yeah. You can't switch that, all that stuff online like that. So they're trying to do a petition where, like, it's either pass or fail. It's no A, B, Cs, or Ds. I think that's the yeah. yeah. So, like, even if you get a D in the class, it's still a pass, and it won't hurt your GPA. We feel like GPA shouldn't be affected this semester since we didn't have no, you know, choice in what's going on. Especially, just say, I got a student that's always from past. Exactly. And he ain't never had no problem. She ain't never had no problem. Into the online stuff. Yeah. And now it's harder for them. Face to face is better for them. Well, let's hope that's. Oh, right now they have, we have to have 5,000 signatures. Right now they have 4.6. And they started the petition three days ago. That gonna happen. Yeah. And then, you know, you got some people who's like, well. Do it have to be just uh, students? Mm -mm, some parents that signed the petition, too. Where is it? Uh, I seen it's on Facebook. But I have the link. So I can send the link. It's like a petition link. Uh, some some parents, like, my my child's a freshman. She, she don't even know how to cope with freshman classes, like, face-to-face -face shit. Yeah. So how she supposed to do online classes? Yeah. So. Yeah. That's the concern with a lot of people. I hate this going on. Yeah. I've never been praying. For yeah. seniors who graduated in high school, they can't even walk on stage. Yeah. And, and in the air, like, like a weird. Yeah, it's just everybody like walking on tiptoe. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. The whole atmosphere is just like... We just got two new cases over there. At the so, school? Not at the school, but in the county. So we have seven in Starkville. There's no cases on camp. Like, Mrs. Thay said nobody came back. But if we would have came back spring break, all them people went to Florida and stuff. It would have been more. Everybody on that campus would have been sick. Yeah, it would have been more. They made a, a good move. A good move. I'm so glad because... Baby. But I'm going to tell you something. It's more. It's more. Because it ain't no symptoms. Sometimes people don't got symptoms either. I said sometimes people just carry it. Mm-hmm. They don't have the symptoms. They just carry it. That's crazy. Yeah. I just hope and pray it'll be over soon. Me too. Because I'm trying not to have it fix my own internship, baby. I need that money. And you know it's it's he already, it's still heavy. He though. already emailed us and said that there's no plans as of right now to mess up the summer program that's supposed to be happening. And he said, but they are at a remote location because of they not working from 
uh, the school, they working from a remote location. From home. Mm -hmm. And he said, we're going to try to, if anything else rises up, we're going to try to let y'all know well in advance so that um, y'all can, like, make appropriate, you know, changes, whatever, find something else, whatever you need to do. Did you hear anything else about the scholarship? Nope, they haven't missed us or said we got but it or anything. There's so much going on. So much. I figured that they're going to try to probably get more people, um, probably extend it since um, it happened while stuff was going on. The deadline ended while stuff was going on. So that I think they're going to And I think about it. that. It was your little situation. You get you had so much going on mm -hmm. with your uh, with your job and yeah your internship and school. Yep, it was like it's all just tied into one. I'm just like, oh, right. And then um, now they like they're trying to figure out what's go what to go. Not um, everybody thinking that it's one man, Donald Trump doing. No. Y'all, they getting into too much power. Mm -hmm. Chloe said it best. Mm -hmm. Chloe, Chloe said, you ain't, see, uh, you ain't see that man standing up there. He don't know what he's doing either. You don't even know which way he You see him, what he doing? That woman called? Mm -mm, I ain't see it. I don't, I ain't see what he did. But I know, like, before it got big, he was just like, it's not that serious, y'all. But he didn't know. Like, it, and y'all can't be mad at this man for not knowing. He don't know. Y'all, he don't know. Poor Tank Tank. <laughs> the man don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. He just like the rest of us. Clueless. Just riding away. And to think that he got that much power. Like, it's some type of com uh, conspiracy theory. What your daddy think. Um, that the Trump, the nurse, the doctor, everybody is... uh. Injecting everybody to uh, postpone the election. Y'all getting their mind too much power. Mm -hmm. And they also said that when some people get cured for them, let on they can get it back. Well, that's just like any disease. That's what they say. You can get the flu back. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. so, well, they they shooting the coronavirus in you. They shoot. Well, from what I'm told, you ain't that the ain't that what the flu shot is? Don't you have uh, the you get the flu shot? You get you get the flu shot so you can get the flu basically. So later on, you won't get it again. Mm -hmm. That's the day people say the flu shot is. Yeah. Oh, but it's a lot going on. I'm just hoping that it's gone before like my major stuff supposed to be happening. <laughs> And uh, like professors and stuff, like they don't even know. They didn't sign up to be no online professors. Some of them don't even know how to work the uh, internet. Y'all still doing black book? Is that what y'all on? No, they changed it to Canvas. That's a new. Um, that's a new blackboard, but it's called Canvas. Well, blackboard, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been on that for a while now, but um, so you can they can do whole online lectures online. But you like my professor made it not mandatory, cause she wanted to have it at eight o'clock in the morning like our regular scheduled classes. Mm -hmm. And I said, sis, barely see me in the class. <laughs> you barely see. Eight o'clock around? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. I been had it. It's eight to nine fifteen. I don't know why I thought. You... But it's right there. Your earlier class was eleven. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I have a nine on Mondays and Wednesdays and Friday. Yep. They're going to show y'all there's so much going on. Mm -hmm, my 8 o'clock class. My brain just fried. She trying to have the, the lecture, the online lecture at 8 a.m. too. And I said, no, sis. But she made it not mandatory, so she said she going to post them later on. But they be like an hour long. I'm like, sis, so you want me to stick with this? You see, there was a night sometime to get uh, droopy mm -hmm. <laughs> on me. But well, I still. I'm sorry, I interrupted your video. No, uh, what we talking about is actually good for people to mm -hmm. know what's going on. Yeah. Cause that's what I was gonna talk about, Corona. Oh, did you just start it? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm just 14 minutes in. I'm finna get rid of Cut it off. Okay. You waiting on um? Uh, can you know what she doing? Oh, uh, she just um came back cause um she can't get to her dead. Miss Nikki Kento beans and. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I can't see if you had some more. Uh, some more what? Some groceries I could take back. Oh, okay, yeah. But that was uh, that was dad to ask you that you want him to bring you something. But I knew I was coming. Well, you like, no, nah, you want him to bring me now. But I knew I was coming, so I didn't want to tell y'all. Oh, okay. I didn't want to tell y'all I was coming. I don't want to be surprised. Okay, y'all. The video didn't go like I thought it was good, but I hope y'all do get some good information from my uh, my little college student. She informed me on a lot of stuff, but I, this is what I really wanted to tell y'all. This is not the end of the world. We ain't nobody in the end of the world. When you go to the store, get one or two things. You don't have to go in these stores and get 10 loaves of bread. Okay, because what about the five people behind you? And that's what we got to pay attention to, being more um, conscious of uh, our neighbor. We need to start being, not being so selfish. And remember everybody in this time. You don't want like the older people going to the store and they can't get bread. They can't get meat. They can't get water. They can't get tissue. Because you, you we don't bought it all up. Just start being more conscious about each other during this time. Continue to pray and see God. Whatever you do. Serve God. Serve people. Love God. Love people. I'm going to go visit with my baby um, for a little bit um, before she go back. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.